Gilman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real World Indie Film Lounge in downtown Toronto. Hi, I'm here with Julian Iacinth and Jason Rochester. How does it feel to be here at the Real World Indie Film Lounge? Um, sober right now, but I'm trying to change that in a couple hours and maybe make some friends along the way. Great. Um, it's just a great opportunity, everybody networking with each other and um, the projects that people have coming out. Um, what makes it really authentic is that they're very innovative. They're not the same. They're very new, so it's great to see what's coming out. Julian, what inspired you to become an actor? I think it's just the art, being able to display an expression of uh, another personality and even like coming close to a, a story, the origin of a story and now taking that story and internalizing it and putting that on screen whether you're on screen or on stage I love, I love that art form, I love uh, that presentation to people and there's a gravitation towards it when people see it so it's really nice to do. And Jason, what inspired you to become a filmmaker? Um, I've been in the music industry for a long time, shooting videos and whatnot, and I kind of wanted to evolutionize the way I, people were shooting music videos right now. So, and I've been a film lover of film since I can remember. Film has been my babysitter, my best friend for as long as I can remember. So, I wanted to kind of incorporate the two, man. So, and this is my way of doing it. And what is the best part about being in Toronto during the Toronto International Film Festival? Um, well, Toronto in itself is growing. The industry is, is booming, right? So when you have uh, weekends like this or weeks like this where you're doing TIFF, you're meeting people and you're also coming privy to a lot of art forms that are coming out. People are doing things differently, like I was saying. And you want to you wanna gain from that. You want to learn from that. And just so that you're not necessarily competing against another person you're complimenting another person by just you know pushing the envelope a little further so it's great to have that inspiration all around you you go on the corners everybody's walking around everyone's the fashion everyone's dressing up so it's nice to see yeah um i individually i think it's really cool that i can meet a lot of you know upcoming actors filmmakers uh celebrities if i'm lucky enough and see some really cool films that you would never see anywhere unless you're at tiff you know um but like as a city on a whole i just love what it does for it you know uh coming up in the music industry i remember like you know canadians when it came to uh, acting and film and even music were just like the little brother, you know? And now with the, the explosion of TIFF, it feels like we're almost on par with everybody and a lot of the bigger um, actors and directors are coming and premiering their movies and they want it to be a TIFF now, you know? They're, they're aiming for it to be a TIFF. So I think as a city, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And where is the best place to find out more information on each of you online? Um, you can find more information on me. I got my Twitter, Julian RMR. Uh, that's J U L I E N R M R. And uh, you can also find at the website, rollmodelrecords.ca, not .com, .ca, and Instagram, the same as my Twitter name. And uh, you'll just hear about more stuff that's coming up, potentially working with this dude, who knows? But uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm easy. Rochester Forever. Dot com. All one word. Thanks so much. Congratulations and have a terrific time here at Real World and at TIFF. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you. much. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real World Indie Film Lounge in downtown Toronto.